Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new review for you guys. I just got the Sailor Moon Petite Cara Deluxe figure and I was not going to get this figure but after watching Sailor Tortilla's review I really wanted to give it a try. So now I am going to open it up and show you how it looks like. Here we have the box. It is a beautiful pink color. We have the Mega House logo in here. We have a picture of the figure right here. The official toy sticker. This is the international release. We have Sailor Moon's name in both English and Japanese. We also have the 20th anniversary logo and Sailor Moon's logo in here. The back is really really nice. It has pictures of the figure in different poses. Here is one of the sides. It has a lot of images of the Sailor Moon second season. Here is the other side. We have another picture of the figure. Here is the bottom with all the warnings and precautions. And here is the top. Here is how it looks like outside of the box. It comes with two plastic layers and all of it is surrounded by tape. Let's take a look at the figure. Let's talk about the articulation for this figure. The pigtails have a ball joint in here, so you can move it around a little bit. This one as well. Her head can move side to side, back and forth, and it can turn all the way. These specific arms only can move front and back, and her legs can move a little bit to the front and a little bit to the back. Here is the base. And what is good about these is that you can storage all the arms and the special parts of the doll inside of it. Which is great. Here is the arm of the base. And what you should do is, as you can see right here, there is a hole in here where you should put this section not this one, this section inside of the hole. And that's how it looks like. This is a very very strong arm and here is how she looks like standing there. This figure comes with a lot of extra parts. She comes with a cutie moon rod. She comes with the in the name of the moon I'll punish you hands. She comes with these hands so you can do this pose right here she comes with a grab hand to hold the cutie moon rod an extra face and luna luna can also move her head even though it's a little bit hard so be very careful because this can break easily her, her head can go all the way And she looks really, really, really pretty. Putting the cutie moon rod in here is a little bit annoying. You have to use a little bit of force. So you just place the thinnest part of the rod in the hand and just push it in. The cutie moon rod looks great. And here's how she looks like getting ready to attack. Now I'm going to do a size comparison between the Petite Cara Deluxe and the Nendoroid Tomoe Mami. As you can see in here, both figures have the, basically the same size. Tomoe Mami is a little bit taller, but just a little bit. 
The face printing it is very very accurate in both, even though they are not from the same company, they are both great. The posability is very great in both figures. I really like Mami's posability better than Sailor Moon. And a great thing is that you can swap heads. Okay, I am back with my thoughts in this great little figure. This figure is great. I really like it more than the actual Petite Cara series in general. Just because I like big stuff and the Petite Cara are like super, super tiny, like this big. The painting, the sculpting is really, really great. I like that they keep having that cuteness of Petite Cara. It has a little bit of bad painting. It has a little bit of weird sculpting at some point, but that doesn't really bother me because it's not that much and not that noticeable, which is great. Putting the Cutie Moon Road in this hand is very, very hard, and if you do it too much, the painting might be coming off at some point, so be careful with that. These arms, these legs are so easy to lose. Even the look, when I do this, when I try to bring the leg back, it comes off really fast. I am not a big fan of the shading in the bangs. They have like this super white sh shading or highlight. And I, I don't know, it doesn't look that great to me. But I like the one at the tips that are darker. The little hole that is in here, the base hits the bow and it can scratch it or make it lose the paint faster. So be very careful also with that. I'm liking this face. It is very, very useful. This is the most clever thing to leave your stuff in there. It's I wish Nendoroids had this kind of stuff. However, I do not like this being transparent. Like when you put the stuff inside of it, you can see all. And I don't know, it doesn't look good at all to me. So I wish they could not be transparent at all. I paid $50 from Amazon US. And yes, I highly recommend this because it's great. You're going to like it. It is very, very accurate and it looks very nice on display. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe so you can take a look at more of my videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. See you in my next review. Bye.